Professor Kevin Swift. He is the head of the Strategic Relations and Integration. Um, okay, that's it. Head of Strategic Relations and Integration of LATNIC. So, Kevin. Thanks very much, Gary. Ms. Bernadette Lewis, Secretary General of the Caribbean Telecommunications Authority. Mr. John Avery, Chairman of the PUC. Specially invited guest, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. 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 Ah, that sounds a bit more Caribbeanish. <laughs> On behalf of LACNIC, I'd like to thank the kind organizers of this 12th Caribbean Internet Governance Forum for the speaking opportunity, namely the CTU, another key organization serving as the host for this occasion, the Public Utilities Commission of Belize. And on that note, I'd like to commend the PUC's readiness to serve and to show us the warmth and vitality of Belize. I am proud not only as a representative of LACNIC, but also as a Caribbean citizen to participate in this 12th forum, cognizant that the very first regional internet governance process started right in the Caribbean in the lead up to the second phase of WISIS back in 2005. While at a global level, diplomatic architects Nitin Desai and Marcus Kumo were working on a conceptual framework to address the future of internet governance, the Caribbean instinctively came together as a collective to realize a similar foresight and exercise. And of course, the ingenuity was predicated on how we relate to each other. In terms of other firsts, the Caribbean at one point was also at the forefront of a model for intergovernmental cooperation within the developing world. So what is internet governance? Let's try and put the first word into focus. From a LACNIC perspective, the internet is an effective tool for social inclusion and economic development that can serve all Latin American and Caribbean economies and citizens. As a member of the public at large, the internet for me is about abundant educational and economic opportunities and an excellent social experience to match. And if you were to query everyone in this room what the internet meant to them, we will hear a range of nuanced concepts about what the internet is and what it means. In reality, all of these viewpoints are valid. And that's exactly why we are here. We all have different strengths and capacities, and we are working on a shared version of our principles, our norms, our rules, decision makings, and our programs. LACNIC stands in concert with the Caribbean to face the challenges and opportunities for internet development in the region. Our core action in this respect is building our technical expertise across economies. With every online IPv6 course we offer, the time from call to full subscription reduces significantly. It all stands at a mere couple of hours. Online training reaches 42% of our members, and if you were to combine in present sessions, our training outreach reaches the 68%. And certainly, many of you may recall our flagship initiative in the Caribbean and Central America, LACNIC on the Move, where we use a collaborative approach with other internet actors to stimulate local dialogue on internet governance and other related themes. Right here in this room, I see many familiar faces from when we conducted on the move last November alongside Carlock's 10th meeting. And I'm happy to announce that LACNIC will be back here again in November of this year to conduct an IPv6 workshop. What is certain is that the informational process within internet development, such as the one that we are currently participating in, remains crucial to policy discourse and progress. And in reference to IT for development context, we are concerned much more with policy for action and not a compendium of obsolete texts. We must appreciate what the Caribbean IG framework stands for in this respect. The Caribbean IG framework is not only a top-down exogenous document written by an expert. It's a live document that is ours as Caribbean actors and constituents that stand to benefit from the informational process, policy discourse, and concerted action. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your attentiveness and I look forward to this experience of the 12th Caribbean IG. F with you. <laughs>